don't think there's a better left back in the league, is there? He could always make something out of pretty much nothing. And I thought you were dead. Absolute legend. <laughs> I've known Scott for a few years. We played with each other um, back in Wales, schoolboy level, and we've played against each other a few times when he was at Newport and I was at Carlisle. And to be honest, Scott's a great lad. I think anybody that knows him will agree. You know, he's down to earth, genuine lad. He's one of the best players I've played with, to be honest. Absolutely great lad. Um, good lad around the dressing room. He had that desire to always win. What can I say about Scotty? Absolute legend. Lived with him um, for about five or six months in a house with myself and JJ. Uh, great lad. Loved a cup of tea. Scott Barrow is a fantastic footballer with a wonderful left foot, but also an even better person. Coming to Gateshead was my first time away from home and he took me under his wing. He makes a lovely cup of tea. What do I think of Scott Barra? Yeah, what a great lad he is. Um, really nice lad, down to earth. Um, he's a bit of a Lazarus. He can uh, go down in training and be on crutches, and then he'll come back on a Saturday and play for you. That's that's the type of lad he is. Um, but yeah, what a top guy. He's someone that you would hate to play against because they'd have the never say die attitude. Um, they'd even have the attitude of coming back from the dead a couple of times, and. Uh, he just always wanted to win, and he was always demanding the the best from those around him, um, and giving his all. And he's a credit to the club and his family, uh, and he's a great person and a very good friend as well. So yeah, got a lot of respect for Scotty. Pleasure to have played with him, and pleasure to know him even more as a person. Top lad. I signed for Gateshead last year. Um, it was a big ask for me to come up to uh, the North East, where obviously it's, it's a lot as far away from um, Swansea. Um, but I thoroughly love, love my time up here. Um, it's a great play, place to live, uh, great club to play for. You know, the fans are fantastic, um, the, the lads are fantastic as well. conscious again which is which is good and he's getting uh, he's getting the test done so uh, we'll just we we'll just uh, waiting like everybody else now I'm sure uh, I'm sure his family and all his teammates and certainly us his staff and the supporters uh, wish him all the best and we're all, all waiting for a positive outcome. Scotty Barrow getting knocked out against Luton Town. At first I thought what's he doing on the floor he just cost us a goal at this point we were nil nil so we were well in the game if we were going at half time we'd have probably had a chance of getting a replay first thought after we conceded was get up and then I walked over to you and I thought you were dead <laughs> <laughs> no seriously you know didn't know what the hell happened it was pretty scary um but 
the other one was for the ref to stop the game. I just think it was a freak accident. Next time, don't get in my way. <laughs> um, against Luton, obviously, uh, I got knocked out. Probably one of the worst, uh, probably one of the worst injuries I've had. Um, it wasn't a nice ten days when I got knocked out. Obviously, I collided with Dan Hanford, um, and I just got hit to the floor. Um, but the ten days after, it was horrible. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. Um, I was just one of them where you get sensitive to light. Um, but obviously he's just got to buy your time 10 minutes later, uh, 10, 10 days later, sorry. Um, I was fine and obviously I was back on the pitch in 14 days. Could have been worse, could have been out for about a few more weeks. Uh, one of the injuries, probably one of the worst injuries I've had. Against Hartlepool, I was just like, Jesus Christ, wow. And it's not the first time that you've scored a screamer like that, you've scored a few. And quite unbelievable, to be honest, from a left back. It's a Welsh left foot, see? Scotty's goals against Hartlepool. Um, two of the biggest slices I've ever seen. Shanked it with the outside of his left foot. <laughs> now I'm joking, two great strikes. I'll claim two assists as well. Cheers, Scotty, but two great goals. Um, what a terrific strike against Hartlepool. Both goals just to be expected for him, really. Yeah, Hartlepool goals. Um, it's just set pieces, really. Um, we worked on it a lot. And Nicky just gives me a license to uh, shoot from long distance because you see me shoot from short distance. I don't really score. Uh, but there were two short corners at the edge, edge of the box and basically I've connected them both very well. Uh, I don't think I've never scored two goals in a game before, but I did score um, in a local derby as well against Hartlepool. Even though we didn't get the, the result that day, it was, it was a 2 all draw. But to score two goals against uh, Hartlepool was uh, really pleasing. <laughs> McLaughlin whips one in, finds its way towards Jordan Burrow, but it didn't stick to him. It's got Barrow from distance. It's it! What a shot! Scott Barrow from distance! It was a beautiful goal! Straight in the corner! Get to the back into it! He's cheering up the crowd! It means a lot to him! And it means a lot to us as well. The dream's still alive. Get it on out of this tie. Bring it on.
I uh, I couldn't quite believe my eyes when Scott scored the goal against Bromley. Um, it shouldn't have been as any surprise to any of us lads, obviously, seeing what he can do with his left foot. Uh, he used to do it day in, day out in training, and it was something he'd done plenty of times throughout the season. Um, it gave us that bit of belief and made us think that, you know what, this the dream of going to Wembley's on here. Um, but it wasn't meant to be, but Scott had that in the locker. He could always make something out of pretty much nothing. Um, and like I say, his left foot was an absolute wand. Obviously, the Bromley one was out of this world. Uh, I'm not it's probably the best goal I've ever seen live. So, um, yeah, unbelievable. My first thought was shoot. If it's anyone else, you probably think try and find someone better. But with Scotty's left peg, uh, you know he was capable of something special. The Bromley goal, probably, probably one of the best strikes or football I've ever I've ever done. Um, obviously, the cross come in. Um, they headed it out and they cleared it. I just took a touch from my chest, set myself, and I've hit it on the half volley from about oh, probably 30 yards, and it's just rifled in the in the top corner. Um, now, pity on that day we didn't get to the final of the FA Trophy, but that goal is probably one of the best goals I've ever scored, and uh, I don't think I'll ever score another one like it. delivers. Well, he goes deep to Burrow. Fires in a low shot. Oh my word! 30 yards out. He's caught that one sweetly, and it's beaten Scott Davis at his far post. And again, it's gone through a sea of legs. And Gateshead have doubled their lead. It's Tramier nil. Gateshead two. Oh, he's going to Oh, come on! Tramier goal again. Exactly the same as Hartlepool. Um, I swear out the edge of the box um, but it was the ball that came out to me that day was wasn't the best but uh, lucky enough I had a good little uh, good touch in the ball and I struck it really well uh, it was a bit of uh, the grass was a bit wet that day as well so when I hit it it's it skipped off the surface I went in the bottom corner and that's what I like I love them kind of goals where from distance and and again it's like nice to score a goal at Tramia against uh, a big team and in a, in a big stadium as well who uh, has amassed, I think, more Man of the Match awards during the course of this season and has been consistent throughout the season as well. Your player of the season, ladies and gentlemen, is, of course, Scott Barrow. Just a bit of a tip, um, Scott Barrow and the Nags after the end of the season was begging us, begging us to tell you he wants to be captain as well. So. <laughs> Listen, if he stays, he can have all he wants. Really. <laughs> I don't think there's a better, uh, I don't think there's a better left back in the league, is there? In fact, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if Scott had came at me in the summer and said he'd had league offers. So, oh, yeah. but he's one of the ones you, you, you know him. You've obviously spent a bit of time with him. Um, he just loves it up here. He said to me in the summer, he says he's never been happier in football. So to it's a big feather in the cap to me to use to the club, you know, the area. So, um, but as I say, unless something gets sorted quickly, um, there's no guarantees for anything. Yeah. Signing back in the summer, well, it was pretty hard. Um, obviously, had a good season last year. Um, you know, we had a lot of interest from football league, but you know, the situation that Gates said we're in, um, I was on a phone on the phone to the gaffer every day. And my decision was really, you know, if, if the gaffer stayed, um, I was going to stay. And uh, finally, when I got the news, it'd be fantastic. No.